All right, guys, welcome back. Survival Living here. So I am at a undisclosed location. I want to go ahead and show you some of the products that we actually have in ground out here. Now, this here is the Dirty Old Man Safe. We recently did a review on the Dirty Man Safe, and these are systems that you put in the ground to hide precious metals, cash, supplies. As a prepper, it's not just precious metals I hide. I have drop-off locations of supplies. What we have in this one here, we're going to go back to the studio, and I'm going to show you what's in this. This is a, a cache drop, is what this is. There's a map in here. There's survival equipment in here. The map gives me a location along with pace speeds, compass, everything to get to a cache spot. In other words, a much larger spot. You know what? I even have water in here. Let's go ahead and get to the studio, guys. We'll talk about this. All right, guys. So, back in studio. That's right. Let me get settled in here and get mic'd up. Okay, so what we have here is the Dirty Old Man. This is one of these things that we keep in the ground. This is a larger one. And we did a review. Should be a pop-up video there for the actual Dirty Man safe. The installation, everything. In other words, you put these sleeves in the ground and your Dirty Man drops in there. It's got a cap and everything for it. Um, that right there. Cap and everything goes on this. And this way, when you actually go to pull the Dirty Man out, use the cable system, pull it straight out of the ground and you are good to go so i want to show you this one here this is a much larger system and again it's the dirty old man these things are waterproof uh you got silicon packs you got seating well i think they call it salting actually i got silicon packs here and i got these ball bearings that's so you can salt your area in case somebody happens to have a uh metal detector quite frankly as long as it's deep enough down about 12 12 inches down to the top of it you should be good so let's go ahead and go over the new system here first the bottom comes with a o-ring they've actually updated the system the old system they use teflon on the threads and that was the old system design the new system design they actually have an o-ring installed makes it much easier to take out and also reinstall so let's go ahead and go over some of these things this is a this particular one is a cache drop to get me to another location if i'm on the run for whatever reason it may be cash on hand things of that nature so first ones first we have uh water yeah like i said i got water in this more water uh this is sos food lab water i have the ability to make fire yep that is a ferrocene rod from Bigfoot Bushcraft. Awesome. I have my MC4 compass. One of the biggest things I talk about, guys, is learning land navigation. You need to know this, but the compass plays in here. We have Ranger beads. All right, you got Ranger beads and all that stuff. CFP, what else you got in there? We got cash on hand. Having cash on hand is actually probably one of the most important things. I will say that. One of the most important things, especially if you are on the run for whatever reason that might be having cash cash is king as long as society's in operation cash will uh get you point a to point b able to buy and supplies some of silence whatever the case may be yeah cash on hand is very important all right so having cash on hand I said a lot of survival equipment. We'll have our Mora. This is a great bushcraft knife. Having a blade. We have one of our flashlights. This is from Through Night. Fully charged. And they do hold charge a very long time. I also have a fishing kit. That is a K bar fishing kit, a hobo reel. Water filter. That is a Sawyer with bladder and what else we got in here all right that is that and we also have our map this is the topographical map of my localized area i am not going to fully open it because i don't need you pinpointing my area all right with this map with these ranger beads with this compass I can go from this spot where I know where it's at 
and I can go to my next cache spot. Or it might be the dirty man. Or it might be another dirty old man. But a cache. Let me move all this fiat currency out of the way. Yes, money is very important. That I'm actually this is actually money from my lawyer. <laughs> yeah, as you guys know, I'm in a custody battle. No, seven hundred dollars goes to a lawyer every month. That's why I'm working so many hours. Water, water purification, cash on hand, flashlight. A tool can be used as a defensive tool or for bushcrafting alone. You can actually do a lot of things. Fire, having a way to navigate. Very important stuff, guys. All right. This is why I'm glad that Dirty Man teamed up with us, and I'm glad they sent us the Dirty Old Man. It's a much larger system than just the Dirty Man itself. The Dirty Man, we've shown uh, storing silver, uh, gold, things of that nature, put it in the ground. Nobody knows where it's at. As long as you have your coordinates and you have a map and compass, you can find any location. You can. Quite simple. All you have to do is learn how to navigate. Read a map. Now, you can use GP GPS for your stuff. Me, personally... I don't like using electronics to hide my stuff or locate my stuff. I don't. I don't like having a GPS tracker at all. As you notice, there is nothing electronic here. No cell phone, none of that. Reason being is because I don't want anything knowing where I'm at when I'm checking these spots and dropping them off. Anyway guys, if you are interested in this, definitely check out the links below we are affiliated with dirty man for those that have purchased the original um, from when we first did it awesome we do definitely do appreciate it but i also want to show you the new system that they have out yeah I mean, this thing's freaking huge i don't know if you can see down in there yeah waterproof the new o-ring gasket makes it much easier to seal up of course you have your pvc pipe I'm sorry, it's not PVC. I forgot the type of material this thing is actually made out of. It drops in, just like that. Take your cap, find your slot, there you go. And now when you go to pull this out of the ground, all right, you just take your cable and pull it straight out. We've shown this so many times. This sleeve is actually compacted by dirt. This is not, except for the top. And you just dig around, get hold of your cable, pull it right on out. 